We've helped black labs, boxers, spaniels and havanese, shih tzus, wolfhounds, staffies, jacks and pekinese, long hairs, short hairs, gingers and bengals, burmies, siamese, persians and ragdolls, lion heads, harlequins, papillons and silver fox, cashmere, sables, alaskans and mini lops, half-breeds, cross-breeds, mongrels and pedigrees, marmalades, tortoiseshells, monkeys, tabbies, balinese. Over the past 36 years, Pet Plans helped more pets through more accidents and illnesses than any other pet insurer. Every pet deserves Pet Plan. So it's my very great pleasure to ask Una Gore, our chairman, to escort your Hound Group judge into the ring. Please, let's hear a great welcome from Windsor to Mr. Jeff Horswell. Famous for his partnership in the Drake's Leap Kennels, Jeff has made up champions in mini wires, greyhounds, and also in field spaniels from the Gundog Group. He's approved towards CCs in all of the hound breeds, and he also judges breeds in each of the other six groups. So, welcome once more to Windsor. Let's hear a very warm welcome to Mr. Jeff Horswell. And the first of the 26 breeds in this hound group is the Afghan Hound, followed by the Basenji. The Basse Fauve, the Basse Griffon Vendien Grand, the Basse Griffon Vendien Petit, the Basset Hound, the Beagle, and the Bloodhound, the Borzoi, and the first of the Dachshund varieties, the Longhaired Dachshund, followed by the Miniature Longhaired Dachshund and the Smoothhaired Dachshund the miniature smooth-haired dachshund, and the wire-haired dachshund, followed by the deer hound, and the grey hound, the Hamilton Sturver, the Irish wolf hound, the Norwegian elk hound, and the, the otter hound, the pharaoh hound, the Portuguese Padengo, the Rhodesian Ridgeback, the Saluki, the Whippet, and winning through from the any variety not separately classified, the Abethan Hound. So we have 26 of the 27 breeds here, with the Mini Wire Dachshund not present. So as we ask the hounds, to move round into place. Jeff's going to have a first look at these 26 best of breed winners at Windsor 2013. This hound group in breed terms contains some of the oldest of the dog breeds in the world. Long before the invention of guns and even bows and arrows, man has been hunting prey with dogs. And due to this need of man, different types of hounds have evolved. Sight hounds, dogs that hunt by sight and run down their quarry. Scent hounds, those dogs that hunt by scent. A wide variety of size, a wide variety of build. So, the first of the dogs for Jeff to examine more closely is the Afghan Hound. Afghan Hounds today were judged by Jane Lilly. There were no CCs for Afghan Hounds, but there was a good entry of 54. Jane selected this dog, number 2007, that's 2007, as her best of breed representative. Once seen, never forgotten is a phrase that applies to the Afghan hound more than any other breed. It's perhaps one of the most glamorous of all the large breeds of dogs. As its name suggests, it comes from the mountainous and the plain regions of, of, of Afghanistan. Noted for its oriental expression, 
its eyes look at and straight through you, conveying an aloof, dignified temperament. On the table now we see the Basenji. Rusty Grayson was the judge of the Basenjis today, and she selected from an entry of 14 the bitch number 2021 as her best of breed winner. A breed that's native to the inner Congo Basin, used there by the natives to hunt game, and in more recent times, they were used to drive game into nets. Known as the Bark Less Dog, a unique character of the Basenji. The breed expresses their pleasure with a characteristic noise, which is a mixture of a chortle and a yodel. And the first pair was imported into Britain in 1936. First exhibited at Crufts in 1937. The best of breed winning the Senji 2021. On the table now, we see the Basset Fauve. Basset Fauves were judged by Linda Skerritt. From an entry of 23, Linda selected this bitch, 2050, as her best of breed winner. The Basset Fauve de Bretagne gives us the clue that this breed originates in France. A, rel a relatively recent arrival, it was introduced into Britain into 1983. Traditionally, the breed hunted mainly in packs of four, but more recently in Britain, and with the restriction of hunting laws, the breed has gained popularity as a family dog. This being due mainly to their lively and friendly manner. The best of breed winning Bassett Fove 2050. Now we see the Basset Griffon Vendier Grand. Judged today by Valerie Jackson. Valerie had an entry of 18 and selected another bitch, 2067, to represent the Basset Grand. Basset Griffon Grand in the group tonight. Yeah, a little bit. The Basset Griffon Vendien Grand is a breed which was selectively created by a French breeder by the name of Tall Desme. Bloodlines were established in the middle of the 1940s and arrived in Britain from France some 50 years later in the 1990s. The best of breed winning Bassey Griffon Vendien Grand, 2067. Now we see the Bassey Griffon Vendien Petit, also known as the PBGV. Judged today by Heidi Allenby, Heidi had 20 PBGVs, and she selected another bitch, 2073, as her best of breed winner. The Petit Bass of Griffon Vendier is the most popular of all the Griffon Vendier, gaining popularity with breeders and owners in many parts of the world, including here in Great Britain. If we translate the name literally, Petit is obviously small, Basset, short legged or low to the ground, Griffon, rough coated, and Vendier originating from the Vendée region of France. Two zero seven three, the Basset Griffon Vendier Petit. Stephen Archer was the judge of the Hounds today. Stephen had an entry of 20. There's another bitch that emerged triumphant, number 2101. The Basset Hound is a hound of ancient lineage. 
is typified by its calm, serious expression. Originally from the continent, it was reputedly bred by the monks in France in the Middle Ages to hunt in heavy cover. One of the scent hounds in this group, a basset hound can follow a scent trail which is hours old and has the endurance too to complete the job. Two one zero one, the best of breed winning Basset Hound. On the table now, we see the Beagle. David Craig was our Beagle judge today. David had an entry of 165 and chose the bitch, 2243, as his best of breed winner. The Beagle is one of the most popular of the hounds and is an essentially British dog. Another of the older hounds known to these shores it's thought that the beagle may be descended from the harrier and the ancient English hounds. At one time in the UK, mounted hunters carried small beagles in their saddlebags on their way to hunt. Two, two, four, three, the best of breed winning Beagle. Tony Higginbottom was the judge of the Bloodhounds. There were 17 here today, and it was another bitch to emerge triumphant. Two, two, eight, five. In fact, of these 26 breeds we see here, 16 are bitches, which is sometimes quite unusual. The Bloodhound is a dog of great size and imposing dignity, and must be one of the easiest of our hound breeds to be recognised. For centuries, the monks of the St Hubert Monastery in Belgium bred superb scent tracking hounds, and it was these that are the ancestors of today's Bloodhounds. The home country of the breed is Belgium. The best of breed winning Bloodhound, double two, eight, five. There were 33 Warzois for Paul Singleton to judge today. And this time it was a dog that Paul chose to represent the Warzois in tonight's Hound group. Double two nine seven, the Borzoi, best of breed winning dog. Originating in Russia, where they were a great favourite with the Russian court and nobles, the Borzoi is also known as the Russian Wolfhound. Borzoi is built on the lines of speed and grace. In fact, the word Borzoi in Russian translates as swift, a general term for sight hounds. The breed first came into Britain in the mid 1800s and were gifts from the Tsar of all the Russias to Queen Alexandra. The best of breed winning Borzoi, 2297. Now we come to the first of the Dachshund varieties, the long-haired Dachshund. Anthony Reese judged the long-haired Dachshunds. For an entry of 26, it was this male, 2344, chosen as best of breed. A native of Germany, as with all the Dachshund varieties. The long-coated variety of Dachshund may not be as well known as the smooth Dachshund, but it would appear to make up for this in the beauty of its coat. 
Originally bred for badger hunting, the long and thick soft hair protects it against thorns and enables it to endure, to endure the, both the cold, the heat and is rainproof too. The best of breed winning long haired Dachshund, 2 3 double four, the dog. On the table now is the miniature long haired ducks and Gavin Robertson was the judge of the mini longs. Gavin had 66 to consider and he chose the pitch. 2 3 6 8 as his best of breed winner. The miniatures are in many respects similar to the standard long that we've just seen, except with the obvious exception of size and of weight. It's said that the larger or standard sizes were used for pursuing the quarry above ground, with a smaller miniature being used to go to ground to drive the quarry out, and prevent them from getting back into their earths. The miniature long-haired Dachshund is a happy, bold and alert little dog, and despite its small size, is strong, active, hardy and very gay. The miniature long haired Dachshund, two, three, six, eight. <laughs> Anthony Rees judged the smooth haired Dachshunds, two, and from an entry of 17, it was the bitch, two, four, two, zero, that he sent forward to the group. Being first and foremost a sporting dog, the smooth Dachshund is remarkably versatile, being equally adaptable as a house pet. His smooth coat is impervious to rain and wind. His temperament and acute intelligence make this breed an ideal family companion. The international name of Dachshund means badger dog and reflects these breeds' original purpose in life. The best of breed, Smoothhead Dachshund 2420. Gavin Robertson also judged the mini smooth hair Dachshunds and Gavin had 66, an identical entry to his mini longs. He selected another bitch, this time 2452. Identif identical in confirmation to the larger standard smooth that we've just seen, again with the exception of size and weight. It also has the short, dense and smooth coat with the same qualities of courage, intelligence, gameness and activity. As with the other varieties, the miniature smooth haired Dachshund is a fairly long and low dog but still compact and with enough length of leg to move freely as befits his purpose in life. That's to enter the badger sets or the rabbit warrants. 2452, the best of breed winning miniature smooth haired Dachshund. <laughs> Wendy Cross was the judge of wire haired Dachshunds. Wendy had 32 wire heads to judge. She selected the dog 2529 as her best of breed winner. Wirehead Dachshund first came to Britain in 1888 and became so popular that the Wirehead Dachshund Club was formed by 1927. As its name implies, the Wirehead variety should carry a dense coat, a hard coat, close lying, which is harsh and wiry to touch, and also is weather resistant. This variety has a slightly more terrier-like appearance than his cousins, 
The head is made even more attractive with the furnishings of bushy eyebrows and a bearded chin. Dachshunds hunt by scent. Traditionally and historically, their quarry would usually have been the badger or the fox. 2529, the best of breed winning, Wirehead Dachshund. Joyce Bond was the judge of the Deerhounds. There were 50 Deerhounds for Joyce to consider. It was the dog, 2633, that emerged triumphant to represent the breed under Jeff tonight. Known at one time as the Scottish Deerhound, the breed is one of the oldest here in the British Isles. Mystery surrounds the origin of the Deerhound, but there are reasons for thinking that it may well have been taken to Scotland by Phoenician traders. <laughs> Dignity and humour, affection and loyalty all play their part in this breed's lovely temperament, and he truly delights in exercise. 2633, three, the best of breed winning Deerhound. Greyhounds today were judged by Sandra Marshall. Sandra had, a, an, <coughs> Sandra had an entry of 30 and she selected the dog. 2676 as her best of breed winner. The Greyhound is one of the hound breeds that is most easily recognised, capable of great speed, reaching up to 43 miles an hour. This is the prototype of the so called sight hound. The best of breed winning Greyhound, 2676. Anthony Bon Giovanni was the judge of the Hamilton Stirverer. There were 14 Hamiltons. And Anthony chose this dog, 2691, as his best of breed winner. This handsome, stylish hound comes from Sweden, where he is the most popular of the hound breeds. The Hamilton gets his name from the breed creator, Adolf Patrick Hamilton, who was also founder, the founder of the Swedish Kennel Club. First exhibited in 1886, he's one of Sweden's ten most popular breeds. The best of breed winning Hamilton, 2691. Now we come to the Irish Wolfhound. Caroline Shepherd was our judge today. There were 63 Irish Wolfhounds, and Caroline selected the bitch, 2732. That's 2732. This is the tallest of the hounds. In spite of his size, the Wolfhound is perhaps one of the most gentle of dogs. Wolfhounds have been present in Ireland for almost 2,000 years. Revitalised by Captain G.A. Graham, a British Army officer in the mid-1800s, the breed has become increasingly popular. Twenty-seven thirty-two, the best of breed winning Irish Wolfhound. Now we come to the National Dog of Norway, the Norwegian Elk Hound. Trina, May Trina Morn was our judge. There were 14 Norwegian Elk Hounds, and Trina selected the bitch, 2764, as her best of breed winner.
The elk hound has existed in Scandinavia for at least 5,000 years. The current breed standards being developed in the late 1800s. Skeletons have been found which are believed to be elk hounds and date back to 5,000 years BC. 2764, the best of breed winning Norwegian elk hound. Miranda Brace was the judge of the Otter Hounds. From an entry of seven, she chose the bitch. Two, seven, seven, seven. That's 27, 77, the best of breed winning Otter Hound. The earliest reference to the breed were those made relating to the Hounds of King John and other 13th century packs. Developed to enter the coldest rivers and follow an otter into its home, now that otters are not a pest or hunted, the otter hound's original function no longer applies. However, at the beginning of the 20th century, there were more than 20 otter hunting packs. A large dog with a truly rugged appearance. His double coat is extremely weather resistant. The otter hound, 2777. Debbie Diamond judged the Pharaoh Hounds with a single CC today. There were 24 Pharaohs. It was the dog, 2782, that she selected to win that CC. The elegant, dignified Pharaoh Hound is probably descended from the small, lithe wolf that inhabited the Arabian Peninsula. Venetian traders brought the breed to the islands of Malta and Gozo approximately 2,000 years ago. The pharaoh hound, as his name implies, was venerated by the Egyptian pharaohs of old. Alert, intelligent, affectionate and playful. The best of breed winning pharaoh hound, 2782. Christine McLeod judged the Portuguese Padengos. From 27, it was the dog, 2820, 2820. The Portuguese Padengo selection as best of breed. A newcomer to the hound group, included on the import register since arriving in Britain in 2002. being approved to move actually onto the breed register in 2009. There are three varieties of paint for Dengo in the native home of Portugal. This is the smallest of the three Portuguese Padengo varieties, but it's the only one recognised at present by our kennel club. Used for flushing game and for ratting. It's likely that the breed was developed from such dogs as the pharaoh had. 2820, the Portuguese Padengo best of breed winner. Jacqueline Palmer was the judge of Rhodesian Ridgebacks. There were 98 Ridgebacks and it was the bitch, 2846. Jacqueline chose as her best of breed uh, representative. The original purpose of the Ridgeback in Rhodesia, which is now Zimbabwe, was assisting big game hunters in the pursuit of their quarry, which often included lion. The ridge of hair growing the wrong way down its spine is a unique characteristic of the breed, and there are two crowns of hair either side of that ridge, just behind the shoulders. History shows that the Hottentots of Southern Africa kept ridgeback dogs as hunters and companions. In the 1800s, European settlers bred their Dutch and German Mastiffs and Centhounds to the Ridgeback to produce the breed today as we know it. 2846, the Ridgeback. Neil Stanmore judges the Salukis. 2966, the dog, was his selection from 78. 
the Saluki, which closely resembles dog depicted on the tombs of the Egyptian pharaohs, was the much prized hunting companion of the nomadic Bedouin tribesmen. Originally, the Saluki was carried to the hunt on camels to protect its feet from burning its sand, to keep it fresh for the hunt. Though a very old breed, the Saluki was not seen in Britain until 1840, and it wasn't until 1923 that it was <coughs> officially recognised. 2966, the best of breed winning Saluki. There was an excellent entry of whippets today for Mike Capel, 201. Mike selected the bitch, 3119, as his best of breed winner. For versatility and adaptability, there are few, if any, dogs that can compare with the whippet. The temperament is gentle and affectionate, and he loves the company of mankind. The breed is equally at home in a castle or a cottage. Though the details of the origin of the Whippet are obscure, there can be no doubt that the breed was made in England sometime in the 19th century. Three, one, one, nine, the best of breed winning Whippet. Winning through from the Any Variety Not Separately Classified competition judged by Sarah Hatchell, it was the Ibethan Hound, number 4427, a bitch. The Ibethan Hound is a typical Mediterranean hound that has been uh, depicted on Egyptian tombs and pottery since time immemorial. The breed takes his name from the island of Ibiza, and probably arrived there by way of early trading ships thousands of years ago. It was way back in 1920, 1929 that the first two Ibethan hounds were exhibited at Crufts. The winner from the Any Variety Not Separately Classified competition, number 4427, the Ibethan hound. So that completes Jeff's individual assessment of these 26 hounds here at Windsor 2013. So I'm sure Jeff's going to make a cut here. The first is the Basset Fauve. And the Beagle. And the Borzoi. And the Longhaired Dachshund and the miniature smooth-haired dachshund, the greyhound, the Norwegian elkhound, and the whippet. Thank you very much to those other best of breed winning hounds. Please give them a very generous round of applause as they leave the ring. And if I could ask those shortlisted dogs to make their way to the far end and I'm sure our judge, Jeff Horswell, is going to have a final look and ask them to move again. That will be your chance to really show your appreciation, just to show.
So the Basset Fauve de Britannia, set through by Linda Skerritt, 2050. All the way round. Let's hear it for the best of breed winning Massey Fauve. Now it's the Beagle, judged today by David Craig. This is another bitch. 22.43. The best of breed winning Beagle. Now it's the Borzoi. Paul Singleton sent the Borzoi through to us tonight. And this is 2297, the dog. The best of breed winning Borzoi. First of the two shortlisted Dachshunds is the long-haired Dachshund. Judged by Anthony Rees, this is 2-3-4, another dog. The best of breed winning long-haired Dachshund. And now the miniature smooth-haired Dachshund. Judged by Gavin Robertson. It's the bitch this time, 2452. The best of breed winning miniature smooth-haired Dachshund. And this is the Greyhound. Sandra Marshall was our judge. This is a dog number 2676. The best of breed winning Greyhound. The Norwegian Elkhound. Sent through to, to us tonight by Trina Morn. This is a bitch, number 2764. The best of breed with each Norwegian elk hound. And the finalist in this shortlist in the hound group winter 2013 is the Whippet. By paper selection. Another bitch, 3 1 1 9. The best of breed winning Whippet. So we can have the balls in. It sounds to me as though our judge, Chef Horswell, has made the decision. So as the boards are just being put into place, Jeff's having one final look. So, very soon we'll know our second group winner, and the winner of the Helm Group, Windsor 2013, is the Whippet! In second spot, it's the Norwegian Elk Helm. And in third place, it's the long-haired Dachshund. And fourth in the hound group is the Borzoi. Well done to the Basset Fauve, the Beagle, the miniature smooth-haired Dachshund and the Greyhound, but even better, well done to the winner of the, whip, uh, the hound group is the Whippet. Can we ask you to turn the other way, please? Thank you. Facing the front, please, if you don't mind. 
Let's hear it for the Whippets, the Norwegian Elkhound, the Longhaired Dachshund, and the Borzoi.